and welcome to my channel. Today I'd like to show you one of my favorite programs. It's called Total Commander. It's a file manipulation program. Basically anything you want to do with files, you can do with Total Commander, like multi-copying, moving, renaming, deleting, finding directories or, or large files, cleaning up your drive, like tree size, uh, multi-renaming, FTPing, synchronizing, queuing up copies, uh, anything regarding file manipulation really. Total Commander is made by Christian Kistler. Uh, it used to be called Windows Commander, but Microsoft threatened to sue him if he didn't change the name of the program, so it's called Total Commander today. I've been using it for almost 25 years. Uh, it was released in 1993, and it's also available for, for Android. A full disclosure, I, I, I didn't get the program, or it's not a sponsored video. Uh, I bought it with my own money, and it's also a server, so it, you don't have to buy it. You just get a little knock screen when you open it if you don't have a license. So let's dive in, and I'll show you first how I use it to find directories that are taking up a lot of space. Let's, let's begin. So this is the program. Uh, it's like two file explorer windows side by side. Uh, you can think of one window as the source and the other window as the destination, although either one can be the source and either one can be the destination. Right now I'm looking at the C drive and it's a one terabyte drive with 300 gigabytes of free space. and. I know there should be more free space, so let's. I'll show you how you can use Total Commander to find out where where the space is going. Basically, you can you can select the directory, and if you press space, it will tell you the size of it. So the, just press cursor down on space each time. You can also press Shift Alt and hit Enter, and it will do it for all directories takes a few seconds so I can see there are 11 gigabytes in program files and 5 gigabytes in program files x86 and 50 gigabytes in my steam and I'm sorting by size it's finished now so it did the sorting there are 290 gigabytes in games if I go into the, into the directory here uh, it will it would reset the view with the size, so I go to the other window and look at games, and I see there are three games here: Red Dead Redemption, which is 150 gigabytes. I'm still playing that one, so I'm not going to re remove that one. But uh, Destiny 2, I have I'm not playing, so I'll manually press delete. Uh, by pressing delete it will go to recycle bin, if you press shift delete it will go to it will permanently delete it, so let's do that now there's 388 gigabytes free uh, this is my few of my virtual machines, I don't want to touch those uh, the user starter is 54 gigs, so if you go there I press ctrl alt enter can see there are a few user uh, user profiles here and mine is the largest with 46 gigawatts go in there control there and it's calculating so precise of data there are 22 gigabytes there local 10 gigabytes of Spotify data and Google Chrome 1 gigabyte. So I could clean the Spotify data, but I don't want to do that. So, what other directories? There's a Windows old directory. I could clean that manually, but it's better to use disk, with the built in Windows disk cleaner. So, let's do that. Okay, so now that this cleanup has finished, and you can see that the Windows old directory is gone. Now there are 450 gigabytes available, so let's do Ctrl Enter again. You can 
see there's one and a half gigabyte in temp it's some video files i don't want to delete just yet but the last directory i want to look at to in in this part is the steam directory which is 50 gigabytes and if you control alt enter here you can see that under steam apps and under common there are 49 gigabytes so if there are any games here i've stopped playing i would uninstall them from steam and the, by far the largest game is doom internal i haven't finished that one yet so i'm still playing it <coughs> so i'll leave it at that uh, but we gained around 100 gigabytes back from from for the free, free space uh, so let's move on to the next part and it's gonna be i'm gonna show you how you can use total commander to synchronize drives or directories so let's say you have a source directory and a destination directory as you can see the destination directory is empty and there are three directories and three files in the source directory so let's go to commands and synchronous tiers and you can there's an asymmetric button which means if you want to delete the files in the destination if they don't exist in the source if you want to do it recursively you select sub tiers and you can select its direction it's going to show you the difference so i click compare and you can see that it would copy these files and directories from the left to right so i click synchronize okay and compare again and now you can see that all the files both the directories the source and destination are the same so let's close it and it's, it's it has synced the directories let's if i delete the files delete the file in test in the destination and delete the file in the source and sync again Select that synchronous tiers, click compare. You can see that I can not show the equal file, so it only shows me the differences. You see that there's one file that doesn't exist in the destination, that, that, that doesn't exist anymore in the source, and there's one extra file in the source. So I click synchronous tiers and close. And let's look at the directory, and you can see it's it's been synced. So let's <clears throat> let's look at how we can queue up file copies. Like this directory, it's 1.2 gigabytes. And if I copy that, there you can click F2 or hit, hit that button. It will queue it up. And as you can see, there's one job queued up at the moment. So I can copy the same directory to other destinations, but instead of doing them all at the same time you can queue them up the reason why we want to do that is like if you're copying to a spinning disk it can really slow down the copy if you do many jobs at the same time <coughs> you can also pause the job if you need to pause it for some reason and you can put a speed limit on it you can delete a job and add the job it's a nice feature the latest Windows Explorer allows you to Post jobs, but I don't think it queues it up, it just copies them all at the same time. Total Commander also has a very powerful uh, rename tool. You can access it with Ctrl and M or go to the files and select multi rename tool. Here you can set up a mask for the rename, like if you want to add to the name, do it like that. or you want to add the count behind the name you can add a random number or a, or a rotating number to the, to the files the, the rename tool also accepts regular expressions if you know know how to use them then it's very powerful you can also do a simple search and replace and when you've done a job, you can hit that arrow button and it will reload the files with a new file name and you can continue to rename, rename the files. So that's some of the features.
features I use regularly in Total Commander. I hope you liked and learned something from the video. If you want me to look at some other features, just put a comment in the description. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you. Bye bye.